Hello lovelies, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depends where you are watching from at this moment of the day. Yes, I have this uh, publication that uh, I come across and uh, I got worried when I saw the caption. I took courage and uh, go through the article, the publication or the write-up of this uh, young man. Then I saw a lot of uh, references that metamorphosed to the question he asked. In fact, I can call this question a controversial question that he asked. Now, I don't have answer to this question. For this reason, I decided to bring it to my viewers, to the public, on this YouTube platform, which I know that is... Uh, an easy access to people to give us response on what you think about these guys uh, questions you know coupled with uh, his write-ups and references on what that metamorphosed to the question he asks well i may not say he didn't do well by asking that question and i will not say he did well because uh, nigeria practices uh, democracy where people has the right of uh, you know speech to say their mind freedom of speech you know so you don't just uh, say somebody maybe what he said he was supposed not to say it but i wouldn't say much on this i want to go um ahead and uh, um communicate with you what this guy said or he wrote to justify his question and uh, allow you to tell me what you think about it if you have answer to his question you can help us and we'll be gladly that you did but before then please uh, if this is your first time of watching kindly help us by hitting on the red subscribe button by so doing you really help in promoting our youtube channel and also the bell notification sign hit on it so that um whenever you make a new video you will be among the uh, first people when it is uploaded to get the notification. And in the same way, I pray that you, you know, help in promoting our own business. God will still bring those who prom uh, patronize you in all good businesses you do. In Jesus Christ's mighty name, I pray. Amen. Okay, let's go ahead to the business. So this guy, his name is uh, Omar Sad. Her son, he asked this question because I believe he doesn't have the answer. If he has, he wouldn't have asked. And uh, let us see if anybody has the answer to his question. He asks, Is President Buhari a Boko Haram member? That is his question, yet unanswered. Now let us hear him out on the his uh, write-up, his publication on why he asked his questions. Sorry, on how, why he asked his question. Okay, he started by saying this. Senator Ibrahim Gendan of Yobe State is sponsoring a bill to create an agency to handle the rehabilitation of uh, Boko Haram members. The bill, like social media and hate speech bills, is believed to be a brainchild, a brainchild of the Buhari administration, which started Operation Safe Corridor Program in 2016 for the same purpose. Rehabilitating Poko Haram members is another that follows it okay he is continued the causes the causes buhari is passionate about have almost all the time been sold to us by people other than himself one lai muhammad that's the first person this guy mentioned. Lai Mohammed dealt with us 
on the issue of the federal government's plan to start a Fulani radio station while Audu Obe handled that of Ruga settlements. These are the two one two uh, causes the guy talked about. He said quite a number of uh, prominent Nigerians in commentaries on the current spat of killing in the country have at one point or the other over the last few years hinted of an Islamization and finalization agenda. Some even accusing the security agencies of complicity. At this point, it is not safe to wave to wave those concerns aside. Why is this government very interested in releasing captured Boko Haram fighters in a war it is still fighting? It is one thing for Boko Haram to surrender or fall to the might of Nigerian military and another thing altogether for these terrorists to be released because they say they have changed. Why their colleagues are still out there killing innocent Nigerians at an alarming rate. Watch me anywhere. No country in the world does that. That's what he said. So he was like, why would the Boko Haram captured ones will be released just because they said they have repented? Why their men is still active in their operation? Killing Nigerians in large number. And you said you are releasing them because they said they have repented. So that's what the guy was saying. Okay, he continued and said, Captured Boko Haram terrorists need not bother denying whether they are accused of or they have to do is just saying they have repented. My heart goes out to every soldier at the battlefront laying his life down for this country. We don't deserve it. He lost his friends fighting these terrorists but still musters enough courage to carry on. Some he has had to sit and watch being slaughtered in videos. My heart goes out to the families of the honor attack victims who were told their loved ones were set ablaze in vehicles conveying them to Medjugorje. Their leaders obviously aren't worried about sending out reinforce reinforcements to these blood suckers. Reinforcement to the tune of 1,400 persons going by the figures presented day ago by the Bono state government. If the military chooses to believe its own lies, then that is its problem. But to be frank, they are nowhere close to defeating Boko Haram. I don't think any president who would be stupid enough to send out rehabilitated members of a terrorist group at this point of a war in spite of the very fighting chances of strengthening them. Except of, except of course, he is a Boko Haram member himself or is at the very least sympathetic to their cause. President Buhari's extremist tendencies are not are no secret. 
As a matter of fact, former presidential candidate of AA and the publisher of public, uh, popular news site Sahara Reporters, Omo Yele Shore, said why still in DSS custody that he was denied phone calls to his family. Why Boko Haram commanders not only enjoy that privilege, they also had access to television sets and cable TV in their cells. In 2001, Buhari said, we will not stop the agitation for the total implementation of Sharia in the whole country. I will continue to show openly and inside me the total commitment to the Sharia movement that is sweeping all over Nigeria. Also in 2012, the Boko Haram says of all the people alive appointed President Buhari to mediate on his behalf in a proposed sit down by the Jonathan's administration. I don't know about you, but for me, anyone appointed a mediator on behalf of a group is presumably well acquainted with its ideologies and goals. Barry's recent statements on Boko Haram have quite regrettably appeared more PR for the set. Shortly after it had killed a chairman of the Christian Association of Nigeria, Boko Haram executed a Christian student of the University of Medugri named Rofil Dayeb on his way back to school and openly declared war against Christians in that video. Buhari said Boko Haram had killed even more Muslims than Christians. If he has, he was trying to depict Boko Haram as targeting more Muslims than Christians, he fared woefully. Most people already know anyone, Muslim or Christians, who doesn't believe in what Boko Haram is selling and considered an enemy. It's considered an enemy. Buhari acting like he didn't know is not a good look. During his condolence, condolence uh, visit to Bono, after the Ono massacre, his comments suggesting the local leadership in Bono were in bed with Boko Haram at such a delicate time could have just been a carefully orchestrated plan to cause chaos, promote distrust, and allow the terrorists more room to operate than genuine grievance. Every point to that, there is an ulterior motive behind the efforts Buari, Gadan, and Co. are putting into releasing Boko Haram members. None of them is worried about what it would mean to the Christian population for a people that have openly promised to wage war against them to be released. Or what it, it would do to the moral of soldiers fighting the war against terror to no government with his eyes very wide open, sent the enemy possibly reinforcement by the thousands. None of them care about the average Nigerians that has been 
asking how many arrested Boko Haram terrorists have been prosecuted we think may we know the whole truth someday he said so from uh, what this guy wrote uh, he was talking about um some of the you know attitude of the federal government on this issue of uh, Boko Haram so he talks about the release of the rehabilitated uh, terrorists that's the Boko Haram that have been captured why are they being uh, you know released because they just say that they have repented what kind of repentance the young man asks well, how would they repent when their brothers, their colleagues, their men are still uh, yeah, fighting Nigeria, killing people every day, you know, and they will just come and pretend and say ah, they have repented. That Why wouldn't they say they have repented since they know that they have been arrested and captured and they have no option? And immediately they say they have been, you know, they have been repented. The federal government will allow them go. Where does that happen? The young man asks. That even in the cell where they are, from what he said, that uh, it is reported that they have access, you know, of uh, phone communication. They have a television. While even an activist that was arrested was denied of uh, such privileges. The guy was like asking why? Why do they romance these terrorists? Why do they release them instead of prosecuting them? People that clearly it is obvious that actually they are the people killing Nigerians daily, day by day, and they said just they have repented, you allow them go. Are you not uh, helping them to you know, be sending information to their men and they boost their morale to do the more. So the young man, if probably uh, pitied the military people, uh, the military personnel, those guys that are, you know, suffering, they sacrifice uh, their wives, their children. Um, I mean, what I mean by that is the relationship, you know, the association with their family, the uh, their relatives, their friends, their lovely ones, their spouse, going at the front fighting for the peace of the nation. Yet, after they must have fought, most of them lost their lives. They saw their colleagues being beheaded, a lot of things being happen. And after they must have fought and captured all these guys and brought them back, alive to the country to be arrested and prosecuted what they will hear next is that they have been released because they accepted being a, you know born again that they have repented so what does that mean you know so and the interest the government the special interest that the government uh, has uh, on them uh, you know when they talk about uh, trying to open a radio station for them, you know, kind of rehabilitation, all these rude guy stuff, and so on and so forth, trying to, you know, um, pet them so that uh, they can, you know, be humble to the government. So the guy just said uh, um, all these things to justify the question. He was like, oh, he's wondering why the president is pampering these guys? Why uh, is he doing what he's doing? As if he has sympathy on these guys. You know, does he mean he's, you know, or he was part of them? Because he made mention of uh, the statement during the time of uh, um, Jonathan. You know, so whether it was the guys that said he should go and sit where he's sitting now, 
So the guy said a lot of things. I don't know what you think about what this guy said. Does it make sense at all? Uh, was this guy supposed to have said this? Because the person he's talking about is the president of his country. Was he supposed to say such as his country, uh, countrymen this question about his uh, the, about his president? As in the, whether the, his president is a, 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 a member of terrorist group. Is that possible? That a, 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 um, a president can be a member of such a group? I don't think so. I don't think so at all. So, but no man is a monopoly of knowledge and I learned. I want you to contribute and tell me what you think about what this guy have just rightly said. This is the lie of Mohammed when we said that, uh, you know, talked about uh, the radio station for the uh, uh, Funani Hesman, which uh, does the same job, the Boko Haram. Does that is this insecurity? This is urgency, insurgency. Sorry, so I don't know what you guys think about the uh, what the guy had just said. Such in, insecurity baffles me. Bugari said, so he said this. Okay, someone that made this kind of statement that such in insecurity baffles me. I'm quoting Bugari now. If he can say these things, how do you think he will, he can just be a member of this? group that is fighting his government uh trying to uh, make him look like the worst uh, president ever uh, had in the country because of the level of insecurity you know like today on uh, ore road you know every ore road that's what it's called so we saw a lot of uh, vehicles parked People were calling, crying for hunger. That uh, since morning they came out, the Boko Haram have surrendered everywhere and said nobody will pass, nobody will go. And over those, uh, you know, hours, you know, almost uh, getting to a day, no police, no army, like those guys who were shouting, no police, no army to come and, uh, you know, intervene. So that they can continue their their journey, continue their journey, because I think these people are we are going from east to Lagos. So before this Boko Haram people blocked the Ore Road, and uh, announced that they said they will have already wounded or killed about ten, you know. So and they were also shouting that no military, no police, that those guys don't allow the police to go, don't allow the military to. You know, pass uh, the passengers were like crying. We saw the vehicles lying um, on the road, you know, beside the bush sides. There, everybody was on call, calling their people, calling for help for hours and hours and hours. For the period they were calling, we didn't see any uh, force man, any police, any military intervening so that uh, they can continue their movement so i think uh, i don't know what you think about what this guy had just said but i don't think it's possible that the president can have interest in this don't forget to sus subscribe and god bless you as you subscribe and share to other people to watch and subscribe in jesus christ name, amen